Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today we're doing an eyesore. That's right. Um, so Eric sent me the cigar. This is uh, Alec Bradley TAA 2023. And when I'm calling it eyesore because it's blue, it's very eyesore in the box of all the other cigars. Literally, there's not one color of my cigar that matches this. So this thing just sticks out like an eyesore. All right. And yeah, supposedly when they released TAA, there was like 20 something or so. They was revealed at early of the year, like March or something like that. And this one was the one that's not in there. And they're like last minute, go, oh, we decided to make one too, blah. You know, so they did. Um, this one is a 6x52 Toro. Uh, uses a Criollo 98 wrapper. Honduras. Uh, over the... Honduras binder and Nicaraguan and Honduras filler. No, that's not correct. Try again. Why do you have to describe like this? Okay. The wrapper is. The wrapper is Honduras. Okay, and the binder is from Nicaraguan, is Asli, and also Honduras, and the filler is from Honduras and Nicaraguan. That's confusing as hell. You know what? It's still... Here it isn't. Okay. That's all the information I have. It's not very clear. Other than the fact that this thing's blue and the box is even more blue. Okay. And the cigar is $13.99. They made 500 boxes of 10 cigars. I hope that was all like still sitting there. <laughs> I, I saw this cigar a few times because the blue is such an eyesore that I didn't get it one myself. But let's take a look at the cigar, right? The cigar has, obviously, look at this really deep, weird, and light, weird blue band over the, you know, the gold lettering. And you can see this, um, this, this wrapper is really like, I don't know, spotty, uneven, or I don't, I don't know what you're gonna call that. It's, 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 it looks like, a paper that has uneven glue on it like in a way because some spots are darker some spots are lighter it's very like uneven and uh veiny and it looks like there's a crack somewhere on there too but i'm just gonna smoke it as it is you know so yeah the foot is open the band has gold blue yep green this is a very like it hurts my eyes just looking at it anyways so we are gonna smoke the cigar Start with smelling it. It's floral. <clears throat> yeah, it's just floral. All right. Get a cutter. The draw is going to be funny, I know it, because there's a crack on it. Okay, surprisingly, it's like really tight. Wow. It's really, really tight. 
Maybe I'll cut a little bit more. Of course, that cut cracked the cap. It's okay. I got it. I got it. Actually, it's not that bad. Just need just a little bit of glue. Alec Bradley. Alec Bradley. Ah, TAA, they say. It'll be nice, they say. Pick up a TAA, they say. It's a specialty, they say. You know? Like, there's literally no glue at that last little part. Nothing. But nope. I'll fix you. I'll fix you. I right, overhear the crack. There's a crack right here. Just a little bit of glue. It's not going to change the taste. But seal that up so I get a better draw. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So this cigar is at $13.99. Being a Toro. And they say that... They give a portion to... The organization. 50 cents. Alright. So. This already don't feel like a $13, $14 cigar. We gotta go with $14, okay? Let me bake this dry out a little bit. And then we'll take a draw. It's not looking well. It's not starting out well. All right, here we go. Leather. Cedar and leather, that's it. Cedar and leather. Cedar and leather. All right. The draw is so tight. I don't know how this is going to be. Come on. Am I running out of fuel on this one? No, it's plenty of fuel. Oh, here we go. Right. Even the lighter doesn't want to light this one up. How? You're like already there. Maybe I need to bleed this a little bit. Hmm. There's a little bit earthiness, there's a little bit barnyard, there's a little bit floral. A little bit of sourness. Star Annie's kind of taste. Leather. A lot of earthiness too. Um, not medium, and there's a little bit of like a fermenting taste. A little bit of also, I want to say ammonia kind of taste to it. Yeah, it's just woodsy in the retro hill. Anyways. Let me smoke one third and I'll be back. Hopefully with the good news. Be right back. Okay. It's one third. The draw is horrible. The draw is horrendously bad. And um, I'm, I'm still smoking it. It tastes like a... It 
It tastes like a chocolate that fall into a sewer. It's sour. It's like fermented taste, but it tastes like chocolate. So uh, I'm not trying to denounce the cigar, but the draw is so bad. I don't think it's burning evenly and thus it's not giving the correct flavor and just tastes like sour chocolate. Sour chocolate and a little bit of cedar, maybe and a little bit of leafiness. The kind of leathery aftertaste, it leaves it stays in your mouth. That's why it's kind of nasty. Yeah. Um, but I'm still trying. See if this thing gets better. Um, there's a knot somewhere in there. You can feel like it's really, really hard in here. Um, so hopefully once it passed that stage, it gets better. But this thing, not very good right now. But yeah, second third, be right back. Two third, as you can see, I tried to fix the cigar. I used uh, draw tools to get a little bit of breathing room. I and 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 then this thing starts to explode. I glued it up here and there, just so that I can smoke this thing and give it the best chance possible. But this thing tastes bad. I got a little bit of pepper, floral, chocolate, leafiness, sourness, and water. Maybe like mineral dirty water. Like, have you ever bought a very questionable spring water? Like maybe from Mexico or something? And then I tried to say Mexico is bad, but Mexico water, you guys know what I'm saying. And then you bought it, you drink it like, like, like this. You took the bottle of water and you go. Uh, that's how it tastes like. Not saying that water tastes like that. I'm giving you an example of how, you know, that scenario was like. That's what it tastes like to me. But it seems like that chocolateness starts to taste like chocolate but it kind of slows down and then work into an argar jello taste i don't know if you guys ever bought argar if you want to buy those like gelatin argar make it into a jello put nothing in it and just eat it that's what it tastes like so yeah that's what it tastes right now last time i'm gonna finish up but before that let's take a look at this eyesore now, even though I say it's eyesore, I'm pretty sure they thought it was a good idea because I think of all the cigar band, this one probably stands out like no other. So, <clears throat> that's what it looks like. Um, you know, it, I don't know why they have to put the TAA so out there around their Alec Brawley sign and, and, and stuff like that. Like their, their only Alec Brawley like logo is like down here, you know? And I, you know, I, I know it's pretty cool to do this like single double band stuff, but it really made it more like a TAA cigar that's made by Alec Brawley than a Alec Brawley cigar that's made part of TAA because the TAA logo is like right there, like huge. So, but anyway, as of now, this $14 cigar tastes like. Six dollars a cigar. Let's see if the last third gets better because um, I'm like to a point of regret. And pepper starts ramping up a little bit. Uh, strength probably medium, medium plus, especially medium plus because I try so hard to smoke this thing. But once it open up, let's see. Let's see if it gets better. Be right back. Okay, so we're done. Finally. The flavor got a little bit better. And that was it. This whole cigar, like it just, you know, it's a, in the typical Alec Brawley cigar fashion. It's like gambling for good construction, good cigar. With like, you know, it might be a good cigar, but like, you know, in a box of 20, you get like one good one. You know, it, it, it's always gambling. From my experience, every time I get an Alec Brawley, I feel like I'm gambling 
course, cigar that doesn't plug or doesn't have construction issues or whatnot. I mean, this cigar just have photo problems. So, <clears throat> uh, because the flavor got better, I'll give it six fifty. That's it, six fifty. You know, it's a little bit better than a six dollar cigar, and six usually six is usually the lowest I ever give, uh, because you know you got a cigar that you can smoke six dollar, right? And 650, okay, because he got a little better. And for a little bit of amount of time, it's more trouble than not. It's not enjoyable. So yeah, I can see why they just do decide to do last minute. You know, let's talk about this last minute. And, and, and we release a cigar that people might or may not like. There's not a lot of information on this cigar, really. I mean, it's just it's just not a good cigar, and the people don't care, I feel like. So yeah, not a good cigar. I am glad I didn't end, end up buying one. Uh and uh yeah. It, it, the color and the band should tell me it's like stay away even though it's not red or whatever but not good cigar I don't like it so that will be the cigar review I hope this cigar review helps you for not getting one save yourself the uh, what 14 bucks and uh, go buy something better and now I'm gonna go smoke something better so that's it with this review uh, make sure to like subscribe uh, uh, share uh, comment and you know Join our membership if you want more content. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.